Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Skies of Arcadia, and we are fighting Shadows! These look to be elite troops from Valua. They've attacked my home, they've pissed me off, they're gonna die. Sadly, I only have three people in my party. Alright, that's not good. Death Strike, I believe, can instantly KO us. So we kind of want to be careful about that one. And they can cast Salinas. Which means... Aka may not be casting spells. Aka's not casting spells for the time being. And they are trying to kill Vice. Well, that's okay, because Vice is going to kill them. They don't pack a lot of HP, but it, that instant death ability is just... It's... 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 dangerous. Regular attack. That's fine. They're going to... I think they're going to focus all of their regular attacks on Fina. And that sucks because... That's the one that I was going to instantly kill with Vice. And they have a really high counter rate, it seems. Not a fan of that. Oh well. Oh no, I took out him, who had the higher uh, HP. Alright, and just guard. And well, you have Wevelin, okay. And since, unfortunately, we are in a very small battlefield, all of our people are very close together, uh, yeah. That was gonna be a thing. But, they're all dead. Minimal damage. Thankfully, they did not get the instant KO ability off. That actually, you know, worked. Should probably switch off of green because Vice is the only one learning anything. <laughs> Alright, I am really not happy about the fact that they're attacking my house. Oh, damn. Patrol ship spotted the Delphinius when you came to Dangrel and then they followed you back here. Hand them over now. If you hand them over peacefully, I will call off my troops. If not, we will bombard your pitiful island until you're all dead. Alright, so we have a swashbuckler event. We can either trade the crystals for the lives of his crew, or you'll have to kill us first. We know not to trust Ramirez or Galcian. So you'll have to kill us. Take them over our dead bodies. Now you will die. Alright. So this is... This is an unwinnable battle. We cannot win this fight. There is no chance of winning this fight. Ramirez outclasses us. And he can summon a rapier. Alright, since we can't win this fight... I'm gonna show off the Tuna Cutlass. Oh, we... I forgot, we don't get the regular knife. Weapon. We get a, a fillet knife. Look at that. And then... Tuna. It, it's useless. Uh, I am, however, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to Cutlass Fury Ramirez with a Tuna. And... The Swirl Meringue. We'll put on Silver. Like I said, it's a giant lollipop with the Dreamcast logo on it. Look at that. That's adorable. Uh, while I'm at it, we will we'll switch to silver, because that's, you know... A more fitting... Oh, and the wrapper changes color! I was wondering how they were going to do that. Alright, so, yeah, this is not a winnable fight, so I'm not going to prolong it. 
I'm just going to let them kill me. Ramirez will be the one who kills me. That's just how things are going to work. Oh, but Fina gets a critical hit on Ramirez. And I actually did damage. I just, I want to, I, I want to tuna him in the face. Uh, for those of you who also play Team Fortress 2, uh, the scout with the, uh, the fish, the holy mackerel, crit fish, fish, crit fish, 423 damage with the fish. So, yeah, like I said, I could, uh, I could draw this out, but if I defend, I'm going to take less damage. If I use, like, Skull Shield or anything like that, I'm, it's just going to it's gonna prolong the inevitable. I just need to attack. And notice that, you know, even though I've gotten some damage off of him, his health bar has not moved at all. So... Fred Fish. That is what I'm going to name. And part of it is you ha if just playing TF2 and, and knowing that the fish weapon is a thing. You have to watch Star's videos. Uh, it's star underscore or N-I-I-C-H-T-S. This is username here on YouTube. He does a lot of TF2 videos. And they are just, they're hilarious. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Fish. Uh, I yeah, just 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 watch them, watch them. I really wish I could have done a Pirate's Wrath. Uh, I may actually do that and see if I can do a Pirate's Wrath. Oh, I'm the the downside with the fish is it has really crappy accuracy, so your hit rate is going to just suck. So don't expect to actually use it as a real weapon. Nope, I'm not going to get to. I oh no, that's that's Fina. I was like, I want, I want to Pirate's Wrath him with fish. Just because I can. Because I am a sick and twisted individual. Oh my god, she did one point of damage with a regular hit. Oh, Fina's... Fina's down for the count. Just... Oh... Just so close. Yeah, the fish, and especially against R Ramirez, this is not a good fight to show this off on. But the fish has, it's, it has no hit rate. It's terrible. Oh, you can cast a turn up. That's, that's a lot of pointy things in Aka. And that's, that's Aka dying. Oh, but we get to do it. Unless we die before this attack round gets off. Which it might. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but we... There is light. There is darkness. Sword of the Dark Moon. Yeah. So I didn't get to crit fish him with Pirate's Wrath. He did, however, Silver Eclipse me, which is just awesome. That's what he does when he just wants to end the fight. If the fight has gone on too long, the Silver Eclipse, and you just die. He has all of the... Oh, uh, what is he doing? What is going on with the crystals? I'm so freaked out right now. The people of this world don't deserve to live. Like you in here to gather the crystals. Shortly after I arrived, I discovered the value in Empire. I was also searching for them. They were relentless. I knew they would eventually find them. After Vulu's forces retrieved the crystals, I was going to steal them and turn them to the shrine. 
So he had a plan. While I was in Valua, I learned a great deal about the people of this world and what motivates them. So you're basing everything off of the terrible people in Valua? I lost all hope for them. So, and you're also ba- oh. This is actually a, a fairly common trope in uh, JRPGs and anime type stuff. Uh, it happened in Kenshin. Uh, Kenshin and uh, uh, Makoto Shishio. Two man slayers, one became good, one became evil. You, you have two uh, Sylvites that came, uh, came to this world. One his all of his, his experiences shaped him to become negative the other all of her experiences shaped him to become positive it's it's a very interesting trope so the one who holds all the power can end lives destroy cities and change the world it's a very dark way to look at it i mean it's true but it's a dark way to look at it I would lay down my sword and my life. Oh, that's... Power greater than the Gigas will be brought back to this world. Alright, so we have two options. Uh... Really... It doesn't... No, I don't think either of those were, uh... Swa we may... That one may not have been a swashbuckler event. What can you do without the moon crystals? The power to call down the rains of destruction lies hidden. Oh crap. You knew that it was our people that called? The Sylvites were the ones that brought the rains upon everyone. That's a lie! That's impossible! Oh. Once the six moon crystals are combined, the lost continent shall rise from deep sky. Remember that thing I said you, you could see structures? Yeah. We will raise the lost continent, and with it we will unleash the reins of destruction ourselves. The battle isn't over until you have all six. The silver crystal. Holy crap, he's got this the silver crystal. It was inside him. As it part Part of it was inside him, part of, all Sylphites are born with a piece of the Silver Crystal within them. In other words, the Silver cr Crystal contains our life force. Only through death can the Crystal be retrieved from our bodies. So he's... He's gonna kill Fina. Oh no, this is just all sorts of bad. The hell just happened? Hey, it's Gilder! It's a good thing that guy's long winded. I can get the silver crystal anytime I please. Oh, you are just so dick, and I am going to look forward to ending your life. Oh, this is going to be so fun to kill you. I had no beef with you before. 
other than the fact that you destroyed Nasrat. I was kind of pissed off about you for that. But... We didn't give them, he took them. I, I kind of want to set the record... Oh, look at... <sighs> Our home is destroyed. We just built it, I spent all that money. Well, where are all of our people? Our base is in ruins. This is just... This is a terrible sight. This is the second time in this game Vice has had to watch his home get destroyed. Alright, so we have two options here. It really doesn't matter which one we pick. I will not give up. We can steal the crystals back. I'm not going to give up. It's not going to be easy, but we can rebuild our base. As for the crystals, well, at least we know they're all in the same place. This was a deserted island. Yeah, how's Fina doing after, you know, almost getting her soul removed from her? Why don't you try talking to her? Alright, so we can go speak to... Fina. Which, uh... We can talk to people, too. Ismail, you live for this kind of stuff. Here's your chance to make some improvements to the base. Rebuild. I uh, still build it. <laughs> yeah. That, this is one thing we can... We get to go around, we can talk to... some of our crew that is... rather distraught. Now we have a chance to make it better. <laughs> I've met some optimistic people before, but Vias, you, you put them all to shame. Like, basically anyone who inhabits... Like, I can't talk to Pinta or Marco, because they lived there. They're not dead. Well, Marco's there. Most of the people who live that you find only in specific places, they're... We'll just have to rebuild! If we all give Ismail a hand, we'll have our base back up in no time. I might learn a few more things from Ismail. What does, what does Aika say? Especially Fina, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go and... I don't... All the shops are closed. But I also don't know if... Uh, Ryukan was able to upgrade his. Or if that actually takes it. Yes, he was! So, it's a pity that the shop is closed. But look at it. It's fantastic. Yeah, we can't talk to any... And we can't even talk to any of our shop owners. <laughs> How uh, long are you going to let the Armada stop blowing things up? Alright. So, really nothing we can do there. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and end this, because starting... Once we talk to Fina, it starts a lot of stuff. Is the save point over here still active? It should be. Yes, it is. So yeah, I'm going to go... Oh, and even our... Our panda's gone, and the mural of our face is gone. Everything's gone. Hey, there's, there's the princess. Let's go talk to her. Oh, I wish Enrique was here. I had to give up the crystals to save everyone, but we're all okay. 
I'm just so worried about, you know, we you know. Alright, we'll save it here now that we've talked to some of the crew members, tried to cheer them up a little bit. And then we'll go talk to Fina and uh, continue on with the story. We'll go chase after Ramirez. So, uh, I'll, get, I'll see you guys in the next installment. So, till then, later, everyone.